And here's my order. Ted Drew's frozen custard. They said it's so thick you can turn it upside down and it won't fall out. Let's put that to the test, shall we? Well, hello there and welcome to another beautiful day for an adventure. Behind me is a very busy street, but behind that is Ted Drew's frozen custard. Oh my gosh, it's probably about half the reason I made the trip down here for this weekend. Ted Drew's. That is a place that our family used to go quite often, especially during the summer. My dad would put together a reading program for us where if we read a book during the week and did a little report on it, then he'd give us enough money to purchase a Ted Drew's frozen custard. This stuff is so thick and delicious, they'll actually turn it upside down before they serve it to you and nothing comes out. And my favorite is the chocolate concrete. I recently met up with Johnny's Journey and Vanderella in Minnesota on a trip that they took up that way. And they brought me a couple of Ted Drews. And so it hasn't been decades since I've tried it, but my gosh, it is so delicious. I had to get some more. So here we are. If you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. Come on with me, you guys. Let's go see what there is to see. And here it is, the building itself, Ted Drew's frozen custard. And you can see all the people waiting to get their delicious custard goodness. The parking lot is always full here. I had to park across the street. There's the menu board right there. And I cannot wait to enjoy this. And over here, I think I remember, there used to be a Baskin Robbins in this location. And I always felt sorry for them because there was nobody in there. And there was throngs of people waiting to get into this parking lot right here. Here you can see all the people lined up. This is the order counter. It looks like there's a line that's forming over there to start to line up over here. And this fine employee is organizing all of that. <laughs> looks like they're being very patriotic at each one of these it looks like nine stations that they have set up for people to order from there's an American flag at each one on the other side of the building there's a huge line over here on this side too Wow I think this has been expanded a little bit since back in the days that I used to come here but maybe not maybe it's just my memory playing tricks on me but Gosh, I don't recall seeing that many people here before. This place is unbelievable. And Ted Drew's is also a roadside attraction for Route 66, the historic Route 66. Ted Drew's frozen custard has been located on Route 66 since 1941, and it's been a St. Louis landmark since 1929. Many travelers have stopped to enjoy the world famous concrete, as the sign says. And there's something I did not know. Well, what I thought was just a couple of smaller lines on the sides of the buildings turns out to be a huge winding rope line of line of people waiting to get their concrete, banana splits, and all of the goodness that Ted Drews has to offer. This wait is gonna be a lot longer than I originally anticipated, but well worth it. I noticed that we have quite a few dogs in the line as well. It's a beautiful night to take out the pet and enjoy some Ted Drews. There are many flavors that you can get, including chocolate chip, hot fudge, blueberry, cherry, Reese's, cookie dough, Route 66. Oh my gosh, they've got more than you can list here. They've got concrete shakes and malt, sundaes, cones, 
This place has, has it all. And here it says, welcome to Ted Drew's, our rich vanilla custard blended with the flavor of your choice. It's so thick that you can turn it upside down and it won't fall out. And for concretes, you can get a micro, mini, regular, or large. And for Sundays, you can get a, get a kitty, small, jumbo, or super. I think I'm kind of drawing right about there. Hi, Just one? Just you? Okay. Alright. Right here. Here's my line. <laughs> As you can see, they are quite busy inside. And what's funny is the cashier will just yell like, one chocolate concrete! And then somebody back there knows what they said, and there it is about two seconds later. There, I will have one large chocolate concrete. All right. Josh, micro strawberry, jumbo strawberry. 6.58. Okay. So here they are, hard at work in there. It's like organized chaos, but somehow they managed to get all the orders correct, and they are delicious. And here's my order, Ted Drew's frozen custard. They said it's so thick you can turn it upside down and it won't fall out. Let's put that to the test, shall we? Did not fall out. Success. This is going to be delicious. And here we go. My first bite of Ted Drew's frozen custard in St. Louis in decades. In St. Louis. I've had a couple bites in Minnesota, but here we go. Down the hatch. Mmm. <laughs> That's the stuff right there. You can't get it anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen. Ted Drew's Frozen Custard. If you're in St. Louis, you have to get here. Well, here's something they never had when we lived here. A Ted Drew's gift shop. Oh, we have to check that out for sure. And there's where we came in. And they've got all sorts of Ted Drew's merchandise. Sweatshirts, oh, to even a stocking cap. Hats, t-shirts. Look at all this, even some magnets. Well, gonna have to get me some of those. And more shirts, look at that. Oh, and there, up on top, a cool picture of Ted Drew's from way back in the day. And if you have cold feet, you're in luck. You can get some Ted Drew's frozen custard socks. <laughs> cold socks that make you warm. Kind of cool, or warm, as the case may be. <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused now. And if you live in St. Louis, you already know, it's all about birds, blues, and drews. And look, it's upside down and nothing falling out. We tested that little trick and it worked great. And back here, there's even some history of Ted Drew's going all the way back from 1929 and even some pictures of Ted Drew Sr. himself. A lot of people don't know he was quite a force to be reckoned with in the game of tennis. There he is right there. I'll zoom in a little bit playing some tennis and he played tennis between 1915 until the mid 30s. And there he is right there wearing a sweatshirt, and that is the very sweatshirt right there. Ted Drew Sr. Wow, thank you for this wonderful, wonderful place. Here are some pictures of what this place looked like back in 1929. That's all it was right there, just a little stand. And here's a picture of Ted Drew's from the early 40s when it became a marker, an attraction on the historic Route 66. Here's a little comic strip that says, our relationship is like a Ted Drew's favorite. And I was right, the place has been expanded. This is what it looked like in the 70s when we would have first started going there and then 
In 1985, this is the year that we moved to Minnesota. It got expanded, and that is what it looks like today. And this place is still busy. Even after we are all done with our treat, people lined up all around here at Ted Drew's. This was an absolute blast. If you guys enjoyed this adventure, please go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. Thank you guys all so much for all of the support that you've given me so far. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side.